I'm Melissa, one of the moderators for Bariatric Keto for Women and lead moderator for the pre-surgery group, and it's time for Meal Prep Sunday. So this week, I'm going to have two parts to my video. The first part, I'm showing you my food before I cook it. Um, I've go gone ahead and chopped all my vegetables. The meat is prepared to cook, um, and then I'll come back after it's all uh, portioned out and show you what we've made. So the first thing we're going to make is our deconstructed cabbage roll. We've got um, one pound of ground turkey and one, ground, one pound of ground beef. That just helps decrease the fat content a little bit. Um, then we're going to use some cabbage and we're going to use a can of diced tomatoes uh, with some other spices and seasonings for that dish. The next thing we're making is going to be our uh, vegetable beef soup. So we've got some um, sirloin that we've already cooked. We'll be shredding that. Um, we're going to put that in with some chicken broth, a can of diced tomatoes, um, some green beans, some peas and carrots. Now before you say, but peas and carrots aren't keto friendly, they're high carb. They are, but we're only going to be using about a half a cup for the whole recipe. So it's going to end up being about half a carb per serving of what you'll actually get. Uh, we're actually going to have some zucchini some celery, some onion, and then we'll also put some of the cabbage in uh, that as well. Um, so the next thing we're doing is we're gonna have some chicken breast. So some of this chicken will be used in our gumbo and some of it will be just put in containers and we can eat it with barbecue sauce or on salads. Um, and then we've also got some mushrooms and some broccoli. And both of these, I just spritz them with olive oil and put some garlic, salt, and pepper on them and then we'll cook them. Um, I'm also going to be making a little Asian um, sauce that we can put over those vegetables and chicken if we want to. Um, last thing we're making is um, our chicken gumbo and our shrimp scampi with zoodles. So the chicken gumbo will have some of the chicken, some shrimp, and then some of our Adel's Italian sausage. Um, it'll have this mixture of green and red bell peppers and celery. Um, it'll also have some onion in it as well. Um, and then for the shrimp scampi, that's just gonna be butter, lemon, some spices, some zoodles, and some shrimp. So this is everything we have ready. If you're new to food prepping, one tip I will give you is um, go ahead and cut all your vegetables for everything. Get that all cut, get it all set aside. Um, I like to go ahead and get all my meats out. Um, you know, this meat, the sirloin has already been cooked. The chicken will go in the oven next and then the first thing I'm going to do is start cooking um, my beef and turkey mixture um, for my cabbage. So I'll get all the meats cooked and then throw in the vegetables for the other recipes. Um, if you have any questions about how to meal prep or um, tips on how I do things, please leave them in the comments. Also look for um, my Word document that will have the menu for this week including all the recipes. Um, and we'll be back with part two in a little bit. Thanks, bye. Hi, I'm Melissa, and we're back with part two of our Sunday meal prep. So we've done all of our cooking for the day, and now I'm gonna show you the finished product of what we have for the week. So we have here is our chicken, mushrooms, and broccoli with our Asian sauce. So we have four of those. Um, then we've got our chicken sausage and shrimp gumbo. Next is our vegetable beef soup. Then we have our uh, deconstructed cabbage rolls. And lastly is our shrimp scampi with zoodles. So, as you can see, we've got about 20 meals here. Um, this is for both my mom and myself. We, uh, we both have the gastric sleeve. So this is Monday through Friday lunch and dinner for the two of us. Um, and then there was more left over that we put away uh, for my dad. Um, he does keto, but he hasn't had bariatric surgery. So, um, as you can see, I put everything into individual containers and that really helps us because we both work full time and it's easy to just, when we're packing our lunch, grab two things and go. Um, another thing I'll tell you um, is, you know, some of these might be a little higher in fat, some might be a little higher in protein, so if I know like, okay, the uh, deconstructed cabbage is a little higher in fat and the gumbo is lower in fat, I'll combine those and have one for lunch and one for dinner. I won't do something that's high fat for lunch and something that's high fat for dinner. 
Um, don't forget to post your questions, comments, um, and show us what you're doing for your meal prep for the week. Um, you can give us a description, show us pictures, or share your own video. Um, you guys have a good week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.